Yo, shorty in here showing love. Tell your auntie I say, what's happening? Okay. Um, don't forget, y'all, in about 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes, I'm going to let you know how you can win some tickets to go see Drake and J. Cole live in the loo in February. But right about now. Brandon, be quiet. Ladies and gentlemen. Who is Brandon? You know what? Don't even worry about it. Ladies and gentlemen. Fuckbox. It is time. Text. Andrew! Okay, so I want everyone in their car. We're going to do something pretty different. Mm. I want everybody in their car. I want everybody at work. I don't care if you're in a meeting. I know you're listening on the air, but I want you to say, Give me the business. Okay. So like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. <laughs> shut it out. <laughs> and shut it out. <laughs> Send your videos to S. Andrew. So this Friday, we're going to do an S. <laughs> and, um, we're going to do a video. Oh, we're going to post all your videos. And I want to see you. <laughs> Shout it out. We want to see you on this Friday. What does it mean, this Friday? So I want you to send your video, email me, or, you know, or inbox it to me, or inbox it to Shorty. No, I got coffee, honey. But I want, I want to see them doing it, and stuff like that. I want to hear them singing. Give me the business. Maybe, maybe yes, Mama Fan. Maybe after we do Ask Andrew on the air, you do an Ask Andrew live or something. You let somebody join your live and ask you something. Yes. First, for this freeze frame, don't you know that judge off the movie, nothing but trouble. <laughs> But, uh, Shorty, now you know you paid for that now. You know there ain't gonna be nothing but a pure setup to go live for F and you. Shorty, you paid for that. But I love it. Let's do that. And we try that, okay? Yeah, how you but doing? This is, this is the part of the show where Drew tends to uh, get people upset or, you know, say something that absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> he says something that has absolutely positively nothing to do with the topic at hand. Now, yesterday got a little fiery, okay? Oh. Because, you know, this... I, I love our city, but when we get to talking about baby mamas and baby daddies and child support, things of that nature, it, it's something that affects each and every one of you, even if you don't got kids because you're messing with somebody, baby mama, baby daddy. Listen, I went to Home Depot and I went to Home Goods. Oh, uh, not Home Goods. I went to At Home and I had people from employees. I had the managers from Home Depot. I'm talking about all type of color. Yeah. And they said we started some fire on the earth yesterday. And I just want to say, bro, you know, um, so you listening in, like, your baby mama really hella cool, though, for real. So it's crazy how y'all be getting it. They are cool. And they are, some of them are so attractive. I'm like, girl, come have a baby. Come on. Hey, mom, hella cool, and she could cook. I don't know why y'all be beefing. Anyway, all right, so, um, so today... Because it's feet stank. So today, um, today, I think today maybe is piggybacking off of yesterday because this is, this also has to do with baby mama. Let's not, let's make tomorrow not be about this because I see, I see where this is going. Okay. Okay, so it starts off, it's from a male listener. Yesterday was from a female. This one seems like he wrote this, and he says, can someone please define, quote, unquote, taking care of my kids? He said, I asked this question because in my current situation, I have two kids. 12 and 14, and my child's mom has run my, name, run my name through the mud telling people that I don't take care of my kids. I've been paying child support and helping out with the kids from the beginning. I have them two weekends out of the month, but she is asking for more. More money, more time, more clothes, more shoes. It has gotten worse since I got this new lady. Mm. She didn't want me to be in a relationship with her, probably because this girl was around when me and her was together, but that's neither here nor there. She's making my life a living hell and vice needed. So he's saying... She don't think that he's actually taking care of the kids because he sees them two weekends out the month. But he said he's been doing his thing and he's paying child support. So Good for you. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, my advice on that is, uh, number one, I have not seen your girl or you have not seen your girl uh, waited to a rain and, and, and the day after, the, you know, it's mud out there and she put your name in the mud. You know, let people talk. People want to talk about you while, you while you're alive and when you're dead. Okay? So folks are going to talk. All right? So my advice on that is continue to be with your girl who you're with now. Mm -hmm. And that's what's wrong with these relationships now. They're bringing past relationships in these relationships now, and they don't know how to handle. Mm -hmm. And um, and the men um, bragging about paying child support. We just talked about this yesterday. Women are putting men on child support. These angry women. These angry women. These angry women are putting men on child support. Men, let's take charge. Okay. Let's let's put women on child support this week. I'm sure there are some women. Because there are mm, there is a lot of me. There's a lot of women out here. Who are going to the club, living their best life, and ain't taking care of their child. I'm talking about they're so, with the father. So let me ask you this. Right? Yes. Because you said taking care of the child. Yes. So does taking care of kids look different from for a woman than it does for a man? No. Like, if there, if there was a mother out here who wrote in and she says, well, I take care of my kids, I get them two weekends out the month, would you feel like that's enough time? That is not. No, number one, those kids are disarrayed. And they are in disarray. Because I'm, I'm asking, do you feel like that's enough time? That is not enough time. Because so how is that enough time for the father to be there? Well, let's do this then. Okay. You will make time when you want to make time for someone that loves you. Right. If they are a child. And if I have children, and, and me and her broke up, let's say me and her broke up, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I will try to make time for two or three days out of a week, and she get the, like, let's say Friday, let's say Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. She get Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 
You get what I'm saying? Well, she gets Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Correct. And then you because I'm week. working. Okay. I'm working now. So even that is more than what he said. So you say three days out the week every week. Correct. He said he see his kids two weekends out of the month. That's not good. That's 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 Andre, girl. So so is that so is that enough? Because he thinks Sick of these weeks. he say two weekends out the month. He pay his child support. He send them money for clothes and shoes and food. And you know she she out here saying that he don't take care of them. So you know is that she's wrong and. She's wrong. Okay, she's, she's wrong. wrong. No, yep, she's wrong, wrong on that end. Okay. What well, the thing is, stop asking me dang on advice about y'all kids and child support and paying y'all dang on child support because I'm the one up here sounding crazy. How the heck I'm going to give y'all advices on y'all children and relationships when I don't have none yet? I ain't never had the cat yet. Yeah. He said he ain't never had the cat. I ain't never had the cat yet. Until y'all see her up here and bring me a cat, then we can talk about it. Now, that's as Andrew. I'm up here just giving advices and I sound crazy. Okay. So, to the parents, time then. Because I don't know. Put whoever on child support. Y'all tell me when I'm right. Y'all tell me when I'm wrong. But I'm telling you now, there are some fathers out here that are taking care of their child. And some, you feel like giving up. Some, you feel like, if I'm doing better or if I'm trying, you are doing perfect. And some of y'all women, y'all, you're doing good too. Keep it up, girl. I don't, I don't know. People texting me saying, yeah, he damn right. He ain't never had the cat before. Oh, child, go to, you know what? Go to hell. <laughs> Three, one, four, six, five, now. <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had them, it just came out. Stop telling me about these child support stuff. I'm up for sounding crazy giving people advice, and I don't even have no kids. Give it to Shorty. Okay, okay. If that is a mother out here that's not taking care of her kid and they live with the dad, the dad can put her on child support. Yep. And yep. as far as today's topic, that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. They're going to be mad. And two weekends a month is not enough when it is three days in a month. Okay, there we go. You see, better preach, though. But he see, he tried to act like he was, you know, Drew, Drew been contradicting himself this morning. Well, because I got in and trouble yesterday. Every store I went in, I got cursed out. My son is 16 years old. I work three times. His dad does absolutely nothing. Put him out there. What's his name? <laughs> she ain't going to do that. She ain't going to do that. No, I ain't taking nobody to the money because my thing's about it. God don't like that. Me and Jacob, nobody don't like that kid. That's right. That's right, baby. Well, you know what? Shout out to you for doing what you got to do, baby. Yes, but two weekends out of the month, get real. You say he got to do some more, huh? Yeah, because these mothers got to watch that get off. They got to get kids. They got to do meals and all of that, honey. You can go pick them up in school, take them home, help them do their homework and do something that's like no later. Yeah, yeah. He definitely, he think, he, yeah, that's, that's scarce as hell. Two weekends out of the month is kind of crazy. Uh-uh, because I'm the one you're volatile, you're involuntary, I'm dropping them out there, so do it, your mama do it, your job. <laughs> girl, you got all the addresses. Oh, you don't see them. People on live said, girl, tell it all, tell it. <laughs> yeah, good morning. All right, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I ain't got no baby baby issues. Okay. Well, we can have one, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, baby. All right, y'all be safe. Yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, good morning. Yo, man, what's up, man? What's up with it, bro? Man, all I can say is try to be as active as possible, man. It's, you know, the more you get that child, the more, you know, she can't say nothing about you or your shorty. You know, the shorty you bring around, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you feel like, uh, so you a father? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So do you feel like having the kids two weekends out the month is enough time? Yeah, I mean, if you working, if you actively working, yeah, that's enough. But I mean, you got to get them more than a week, too, you know what I'm saying? Especially if she working, too, you got to... Of course, I mean, I mean, of course, of course, she working. She gotta get it. So it's like if you, yeah, yeah. yeah so she only, if you only doing two weekends, bro, you gotta at least pick a day there. You gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? Man, I work two jobs and I make sure I get him my son more than two times more than two weekends. You know, out the month. No, you know for sure. For sure. More action. Okay. All right, bro. Appreciate. It. All right, G. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Wait. I just wanna tell you, you know, that's exactly why you ain't got no kids. I'm gonna be surprised because you ain't never had a kid. Me too. Let me tell you something. Niecy Pooh, let me tell you something, boo. Let me tell you something. The only reason why I had no cat out here because you've been snatching the cat. Mm-mm, no cat, no cat. I'm sorry. What? All right, baby. Snatch, snatch. Meow. Yeah, yo, good morning. Hi, Storm. What's happening? How are you guys? Hi, Andrew. Hi, are you? Good. 
So I want to come in because for one, I feel like yes, your baby mama need more money. Y'all have teenagers now, so teenagers are growing kids. Um, every two weekends out the month is not enough time. Mm -hmm. I think that's selfish on both parts, and it's, and and they're making that child because you know childs really can't speak for uh, speak up, and, and if they do try to speak up, they're gonna be cursed at or yelled at. Um, because you know a lot of things don't didn't happen in the you know in the relationship, so the both of them will try to get back at each other. Like, okay, you're gonna give him two days out a month. Exactly, and that's the next thing because you now to me, I feel like women sometimes make it hard for the men to take care of their kids because they be too and they feel as about how the man moved on, and it really has nothing to do with you. Let him take care of his kids and call it a day. Like, but as a man, whoever that is that wrote in, you need to be getting your kids throughout the week too because what makes you exempt? Why yeah, we have to have all of this time with your kids too. They're not just her kids; they're your kids too. Exactly. No, I, I see that. Yeah. It's like you ain't you. It's like sometimes, sometimes men be looking at it like uh, I'm doing for my kid. It's almost like I'm doing for my kids for her. But it's like now you doing for your kids for your kids. Well, for his birthday, I buy him a pair of Jordans. For his birthday, I buy him a pair of Jordans. Supposed to do for your kids for your kids. I send him some pizza. Now what about babies nowadays? And forget that they're not going to be babies forever. These people, they grow up into people like they become grown and they from babies to adolescents, teenagers. Hold on, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah, schoolboy Q, studio, we up in the studio doing what we do, waking up with the home team, y'all know Shorty here, Show love, Andrew Caldwell has pissed the baby mamas off two days in a row, and I just, you know, I I'm trying to stop, I don't, yeah, I don't know what you want, I, I already try. came clean, hey listen, less than 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, I'm gonna let you know how you can win tickets to go see Drake and J. Cole live at the Enterprise Center, man, it's gonna be crazy, I feel it for you, hope you ain't loving the crew, how many bodies you got, now, let's say the father is taking care of the child, let's say we have four children, Shorty, if he has four children, he is taking care of the child. But he only wants to be responsible for the two. And he say, well, you take care of the rest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are all four of these? No. Oh. But let's say he mailed a pizza. You know, we had that one time. And let's say he sent some pizza over there. He only sent pizza just for his two kids. And the other two like, where's mine's at? How are you supposed to deal with that too? But where's the other two kids then? One in jail. One they don't know. I mean, you know, I'm just making this up. Like, how are you supposed to deal with that too? I mean, if you send a pizza, I feel like everybody should be able to eat the pizza. Now, goddamn, some pizza. I'm saying there's a lot of Andre fathers out here that would do that to get back at the um the um mama. I'm just saying, y'all, y'all better tune in to Hot 104.1 all day. You, you guys got um Hot 104. We got the home team in the morning from six to ten. After the home team, you guys have Shebe. After Shebe, you have Storm, Princess Storm. And after Princess Storm, you guys have um Bond Don the radio, but Don. <laughs> I love that for him. And then after Bond Don, you have um DJ Crystal, right? Is on okay, he's on multiple times. But you guys better tune in. If you guys trying to get win tickets, and y'all live in St. Louis, you guys trying to win tickets. Um, if you guys trying to win, because you know, just winning that ticket, we got throughout the show. There's so much stuff they give away. There's so much events and stuff they're tuning. You guys, let me tell y'all something. We got the best managers. We got the best people on staff. Tune in now. Tomorrow, as Andrew might be totally different. Yeah, it will be. We ain't doing no more. Now we are done. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Tune in tomorrow. I'm so happy y'all 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 was on here today. And we might have to start doing Ask Andrew at night, Tal. <laughs> um, but I love you guys. I was just on the phone with y'all. Shout me out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, St. Louis Sugar wa uh, Waxing. Thank you. Come and get y'all wax. $35. All right. All natural body waxing. Okay. Call it, girl. Come on. E email us. So you might get you some good advertising. Okay. We got some good advertising in on right now for black owned business. Okay. And I love you. We love, we love, I love supporting St. Louis business. So I might have to come down there and get me a, um, a good wax. Y'all know men can wax. Um, if a if a woman wants a man to raise her child by a different man, there has to be a lot of conversations. She just can't allow him to feed, uh, feel a limit into how he can raise them. That is correct. Now that's a that thing. I want you guys to email me. I want y'all to email me at ax at andrew caldwell at odyssey dot com. Email me. Email me. Send me y'all questions. Uh, we'll do some. We gonna start doing business shout outs and stuff. Doing ask Andrews. Um, you guys know that you. I want someone that's in St. Louis and that's not in St. Louis to sponsor Ask Andrew Seven. So that means every time Ask Andrew come, I will talk about your business. I will say your business. You guys should think about that because a lot of you guys be in the comments saying, "Hey Andrew, can you shout out my business?" Or, "Hey Andrew," I, and I shop at a lot of you guys' stores. So Ask Andrew should be sponsored by a lot of you guys. Okay, but we're gonna work on that. All right, I love you guys. Um, let's talk about how Will was really the one. No, we're not talking about that, Tim. 
We gonna leave that for Miss Tasha K, cause Miss Tasha K can't get a lawsuit. I'm waiting on my my lawyer should be texting me, cause Tasha K said some nasty things about me, and I'm waiting on my lawyers to confirm it, and she's getting sued. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. That is nice of you, Andrew. You're welcome, babe. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Oops, yeah. We made it, y'all. Finally made it through an ex Andrew on some bullshit. Hmm. I guess that's when people cut your ass out yesterday about that absentee father bullshit you were spewing. You got some get right today, huh? But let's jump to the end of the video here. What is this about you sending uh, a certified letter to Tasha K from your legal team? So, I really don't follow Tasha K heavy like that. I haven't followed Tasha K since she started way back in the gap. You know, when she first got on YouTube. Um, has she said anything about him recently? Because I don't think she has. But y'all correct me in the comments if she has, you know. But if she hasn't, so I guess since Supercent told you to shut your motherfucking mouth up or her lawyer's going to shut it up for you, you're going to get you another target. And then you're trying to ride on the back of this R. Kelly lawsuit, too, involving Tasha K. Let me tell you something. Don't nobody be worrying about you like that. People talk about your ass every motherfucking day. Hmm. <laughs> Your co-workers talk about your ass behind your back and in front of your face every damn day. Are you suing them? <laughs> so, stop trying to ride a wave and stop trying to include yourself in things yet again that has nothing to do with you. Okay? Stop it. But, my people, you know how we do. We're going to kick it down in the comments. And that's all for now.